So uh, imagine, uh, imagine being a child and wondering what's in the minds of homeless people. And then imagine, oh, this is a touchy subject. I know it's gonna be so touchy. Um, imagine being in a hotel with drug addicts and, and drug abusers and kids running around not knowing where the next day is gonna, where, where the next day is gonna carry. Imagine giving up at one point in your life and there's no hope, nothing there. You know, seeing kids, seeing parents broken down and that just gave up on life. And everybody around them. My name is Glenn Jackson and that person, I'm the person that I've been through every one of the things with um, one of my parents going to prison when I was 15, and my mom being left to to, uh, to <coughs> take care of all of us, all five of the children. So my project is to, is to help the homeless. Mm. And I found some startling statistics and some stories on homeless kids and homeless families. And uh, behind each face, of every homeless person is a, is a breaking story. And each, each person that is homeless has a story, a story that they, that they all can tell. Um, these people had one thing in common. Everybody had a, a certain thing, a certain reason why they went homeless. But um, <coughs> there's one thing that they, they all had in common. And they all gave up on life. They all gave up on everything and gave up on their self and to, a, to a point where they were suicidal. Most 50% of children that has, a, that has a, a chance of going homeless is foster kids. Um, foster kids and juveniles that, uh, that are locked up in the juvenile system and they have nowhere to go once they get out. They don't have the knowledge of anything, no resources. Um, no parents, um, nobody to go to. So um, my goal is to find resources, uh, find preventative actions for these kids and families, and to uh, guide them and uh, and to um, lead them de lead them to. Is that it? I hear that. <coughs> Let's wrap it up. Finish okay. your thought, Glenn. And, and one of my main goals is to um, to bring them back to a state of mind where they can do this, where they can go on with life. Because if I can do it, anybody can do it. And God's given everybody a gift not to be on the streets and not to be on drugs and not to, to give up on life is to, is to move and push.